Hey guys, so today we've got a Joker inspired look and this one has sort of a sketchbook comic type feel to it, but it's also very simple. So let's get into it. I started out with the Makeup Forever Hydrating Base and now I'm applying my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in the shade Light 45 Neutral and I'm just applying that all over my face, blending it back onto the ears and down onto the neck. And you could also use a white base for this if you want to instead. So once I have that all applied, I'm going in and just setting it with a translucent powder. I'm using the same brush that I use to apply my foundation to stipulus all over the face, but you can also use a sponge or a powder puff. Then to contour, I'm using a medium gray brown shade and I'm applying that along the cheekbones and I'm also blending that up onto the temples and a little bit around the forehead. I decided to take that under the chin and along the jawline, as well as along the sides and underneath the nose. Then using an orange lip liner, I started to outline the lips. For now, I'm just lining the natural shape of my lips, and then before moving on to the smile, I decided I wanted to start creating the shadows for the smile lines so that I had a little bit of a guide for where my smile would go. So I started by following the natural shadows of the apples of my cheeks and then I continued to curve it up into a smile and then back down toward the chin. You can take this up as high as you want to if you want your smile to extend further. Then I'm continuing to outline the smile and I'm using Jack Nicholson's version of the Joker as inspiration so I do have a reference picture that I'm using for this. We want this line to blend nicely into our natural lip shape so that we can't really see where our natural lip line ends and the smile begins. And we just want to take that smile up following those curves that we created earlier. And we want to leave a little bit of space between the smile and the shadows up there at the corners of the mouth. I also decided to overline my cupid's bow and make it look a little bit more pointed. Once I have my smile mapped out, I'm going in with a matte black eyeshadow and packing that inside of those outlines, kind of blending it in toward the corners of the mouth. And then I'm just filling in the rest of my lips with the red lip liner. Then I'm taking a red water activated body paint on a small detail brush and just going over the outlines of the smile. I did take this all around the lips, which you don't really need to do if you're going to fill in the entire lip area with a red lipstick later. So now I'm taking a red liquid lipstick and I'm applying that all over the lips and I'm going to kind of fade that out into the black eyeshadow. Then to clean up my lines a little bit, I'm just taking some of my foundation on a small concealer brush. With a black body paint on a super tiny detail brush, I'm just taking that up through the center of the red of the smile. Then I'm taking a little bit more of the black eyeshadow and blending that in onto the red lipstick. So far, this is what we've got for the smile. We're going to add a little bit more later, but we're going to move on to the eyes now. First using an eyeshadow base, applying that to the lids and underneath the eyes, and then I'm just using a fluffy brush to blend that out. Using a black eyeliner, I'm taking that all the way around the waterline, top and bottom, and then I'm using that same pencil brush with a little bit of black eyeshadow on it, and I'm just smoking that out all around the eye. Once I've done that to the other eye, I'm going to smudge that up toward the crease a bit more. Now I'm going in with a vibrant purple eyeshadow and I'm going to start stippling this all over the lid. And I'm using these stippling or tapping motions because I want to create more of a rough smudged out texture rather than a soft blended out look. I'm going to do this all the way up to the brow, focusing the most color on the mobile lid and then I'm also applying a little bit extra to the outer corners. I'm also applying this color along the lower lash line, again just kind of smudging and blending that down. 
I also decided to add this in a bit of a crease shape above the natural crease so that it kind of looked like it had creased and transferred up onto the lid as we wore it throughout the day. Then with that pencil brush and a little bit of black eyeshadow, I'm just stippling over the purple, focusing at the outer corners and blending and smudging it out. I'm also taking that black and just smudging it a little bit more along the lower lash line. I'm then applying a grassy green eyeshadow to the inner corners and then blending it back on to the purple. Once I have it applied, I'm taking a clean blending brush to just soften up all the edges and then I'm going over it with a little bit more pigment over top. Now I'm going in with a neon green hydro liner, but you could also use a similar color in a water activated body paint on a brush with stiff tight bristles and this one just came in a really cheap variety pack from Walmart. I'm mixing a little bit of water into the hydro liner to make it nice and creamy and I'm picking up quite a bit of product on the brush and then I'm flicking it onto my eye area. And I wanted to focus most of the color toward the inner corners. So to do that, I'm just keeping that brush in the same spot, holding it pretty close to my face and repeatedly flicking my finger away from my face until I have the desired pigment. I'm creating this splatter effect around the entire eye area and feel free to add as much or as little as you want to. I'm then finishing up the eyes, applying a bit of black mascara to top and bottom lashes. Now we're going to move on to the sketch lines, and I'm just using a black water activated body paint for this on a small detail brush. I'm starting out with that smile line shadow that we created earlier, and I'm also going to curve that line up around my nostril. I decided to angle those lines curving around the nostrils in a bit more so that the nose appeared more pointed, and then I'm just using my foundation to clean up those lines. I'm then adding lines around the chin, and then also I'm adding an extra wrinkle around the corners of that smile, and basically we want to apply these black lines wherever we have a contour or a wrinkle or a shadow or wherever we want to create one. And since we're going for more of a sketch type feel here, these lines don't need to be super clean or perfect. And I'm just kind of taking my brush and placing it in those contour areas that I want to create and letting my brush just kind of run back and forth how it wants to to create several different strokes. You can blend some of these lines out if you want to, and then I'm just kind of letting the paint run out on my brush to help add more dimension within those shadows. I also decided to add some of those shading lines to the ears just to help tie everything together. And then I'm also taking some down onto the neck and you'll just want to cover wherever your costume is not going to cover for this. The darker the lines or the more lines you have in a certain area, the darker the shadow. So back behind the neck, coming down onto the shoulders and then also up on the temples, I'm adding more lines to create more of a shadow. And then you can also do some cross hatching here too where the lines cross perpendicular. So I'm just going to continue this around the rest of the face and you can see when I redid this for the intro shots I actually had a better shape to the face and made it look a bit thinner and I also gave him a bit of a cleft chin so you can just play around with the shapes of the lines and see what looks best with your face and then for my brows I'm just filling those in with the black body paint making them a little bit thicker and longer. Then here I'm just adding a little bit of that cross hatching where I want the deepest shadows to be up on the temples. And then I'm just going to darken some of the lines that I felt like needed to be a bit darker. I took this pretty simple, but you can add even more lines if you want to add more details and more wrinkles. And then the last thing I'm doing is just adding some of those shading lines coming in from that black shadow on the lips. And that's gonna do it for the makeup. And I did also color my hair for this look. I used Arctic Fox, Neon Moon, and Iris Green. Then for the costume, it was kind of a little bit last minute and thrown together, but I got the purple jacket from Spirit Halloween, and it was an extra large, so it's really big on me. Um, but that's the only one they had left. The pants and the shoes were thrifted, and then I just had some purple suspenders and a white button-up that I used. And also, the bow tie is actually a cat bow tie. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe for more Halloween videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.